from Jaipur. I am MS Gaini of FICOG and CAMP. My main I'm working as senior consultant for Sony Group of Hospital and Sony Manipal Hospital. My main interests are in the endoscopic surgeries, high risk pregnancy, critical care medicines, yoga, yoga vidya, and menopause. So uh, today, what I want to give, give a message is that the, with the help of government, we have policies which are helping the woman during pregnancy, and also some uh, education is started in ad adolescent age. But what has not started? What has not been done, which has been regulated not by women itself, not by her family, by her government, everybody is neglecting the health care of herself after the age of 35, that is the menopausal age, uh, perimenopausal and menopausal age group. And that area needs to be addressed by us because with the increasing age in the, our country, all over the world, the women who are living after the age of menopause, the number is increasing highly. Because every age of uh, life is really increased over the time, and this has led to a lot of women living in those that age, and that they are suffering with a lot of problems. And we need to educate and address this problem. We all know that today, in the era of preventive care, it is very very important to prevent health complications, health problems, and complications occurring during the perimenopausal and menopausal age group. And these problems, if diagnosed in time, if precautions are taken, they can be easily managed and understood very well. So we need to have a public awareness program and we need to take help from the government agencies and education programs so that we can tell our women how to cope with this, this period of crisis and how, how to go about it. There are many facets to this. We have to do a proper checkup. We have to give them a proper nutrition, a proper diet is very essential and proper counselling so that they can socially and uh, psychologically uh, uh, go through this problem very smoothly and they have a very very good life ahead of this. And for that I recommend that all of us should take step forward and educate all the women and help all the women in this period of their lifetime which is very very important to us since government has limited resources they can't look after this problem i think we doctors if we come forward and treat these women especially not only in the educated group but even in the village group uneducated group we will be able to do wonders and in helping these women and i would like all of us to come together and do this for the uh, this woman of this age group